water sport. And he came flying down the street and almost hit my vehicle. This is how Tuesday's police chase ended. A crash at the intersection of 377 and 820 in Haltom City. I had to slam on my brakes to keep from him hitting me. But to explain how we got here, first we need to talk about Fort Worth PD's flock cameras. Technology has been a game changer. This is this is a perfect example of that. Flock cameras read license plates and notify police if the vehicle is stolen or connected to a wanted suspect. And just before 11 a.m., Chief Neil Noak said a flock camera got a hit. Officers spotted the stolen car and tried to stop it, but the car sped away and a man inside fired gunshots at officers, police said. And after being shot at, continued to pursue someone that they knew was a danger to the communities in Fort Worth. Police arrested the woman who was driving the car and the man who was riding in it after crashing into a truck whose passengers are thankfully OK. Officers found two weapons and the man will face more charges. The suspect who fired at the officers was someone we've been searching for as part of our violent crime initiative. He was on our radar. Now, Fort Worth police have been busy after what's been a violent past few days. We asked the chief about it. One thing I want first my department to know is I'm proud of them. We're out there day, we're out there night, seven days a week, working to keep Fort Worth safe. In Fort Worth. If all of us come together the way I know we can, we can put a huge dent in this crime, the violent crime we're seeing. I'm Ariel Placencia.